the host of the uh, 145 show in Philadelphia. So please, ladies and gentlemen, give a warm round of applause uh, to uh, Neil Garrett. Neil McGarrett. Neil McGarrett. Yeah. Last night's kind of oozing out of your pores. <laughs> I'm having one of those days right now. So if you guys in the front smell you who <laughs> you know what that's about. you who man. It's one of those things from childhood that doesn't kind of age really well. You do it differently. Kind of like the monster cereals. You guys remember that? Remember? Frankenberry and Booberry. My favorite was Count Chocula. You know, there was a time I thought that was just the breakfast of champions. But now I just see a big box of diabetes. <laughs> Special prize, 50 cc's of insulin. <laughs> Oreos are kind of that way. I still eat Oreos. Do you guys? Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. But now I'm going to have changed themselves. Because they got the, the double stuff, which are twice as thick. And i got to ask you, now that we have double stuff, why does anybody eat a regular Oreo? Isn't that like having sex and saying, oh, I'll put my dick in there, but I won't need the orgasm. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Some movies are kind of like that. They age differently, you know. I saw The Empire Strikes Back in the theater when I was 12. Even at the time, I'm like, oh man, Yoda's 800 years old, you know, what a Jedi. And now I'm just like, 800 years? His 401k? Must be insane. Now somebody out there is like, uh, Jedi Council was non-profit, so uh, Yoda has a 403b. Dumbass. <laughs> So you guys are a great crowd, I gotta tell you. But I'm, I'm not surprised, because you know, when I hear Marlton, I think party. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to get across the river as much as I can. You know what, I think, speaking of the river, what's the toll on the bridges now? Four dollars. calamari, two dollars. Did I hear something about calamari? <laughs> Is it really four dollars? Yeah. Holy. I just spent my last money at the bar, so, uh, does anybody need a car wash? <laughs> Go job? Something? <laughs> so, uh, no, I have to say, a lot of great comedians tonight, and, uh, but, you know, I, I see a lot of comedians, and some of them are really nasty. Last week I was at a show, and this comedian comes out, and he opens his set with, I hate women. And then he, you know, he goes on to bitch about how he's not getting laid. And I'm like, maybe that's got something to do with your sales pitch. <laughs> I'm just saying. I hate women. And he really did, because he singles out this woman in the front, and he's there all dick. He's like, what color are your panties? When did you last have your period? But she got her revenge, because she's getting redder and redder, not enjoying it. So finally he's like, I hate virgins. You know why? Without missing a beat. This poor one cracks back. Maybe because in 20 years you'll still be one. <laughs> oh, 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 oh yeah. She owned it. Totally. So I'm nice to audiences now. <laughs> Completely. So you know, I, I hate when comedians do that. This one versus that one. You know, it's dividing people, and you know, we got enough of that shit from politics. The national level, the state, you know, even in this room right now, there are divisions. You know, for example, uh, I'm a stand-up comedian, and you guys have jobs that pay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I like to focus on the things that kind of kind of bring us together. And one thing I've been thinking about recently that brings us together, we have this idea that other Americans aren't going to understand us unless we gesture what we're saying. <laughs> You'll see in a coffee shop, someone will say, ah, I forgot. Can I have a spoon? <laughs> like, if you don't do this shit, they're going to give you a fucking clock. <laughs> spoon. TikTok. <laughs> and like, what if we 
many different hand gestures? Do we think people wouldn't understand us? If I were like, hey, do you have the time? <laughs> like, would you mind going off the bar and get me a rum and coke? <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking of diet coke. <laughs> So, uh, what else brings us together? Why not the economy brings us together? Because we all got screwed on that one, didn't we? I got my 401k statement, I owe money. <laughs> but, uh, you know, a lot of people looking for jobs. And uh, I hate job hunting. I don't know about you, but isn't it a job interview kind of like a first date? Because, you know, like you dress up, you pretend to be someone you're not. <laughs> And you spend the entire time thinking, am I getting screwed at the end of this? <laughs> I hate it. And you get those stupid interview questions that you can't answer any intelligent way. Like, uh, what's your greatest weakness? Uh, let's see, I steal things. <laughs> Occasional bouts of violence. <laughs> I hate women. <laughs> I was in an interview, and a guy says to me, So, uh, I see you here, but what are you like outside this interview? <laughs> um, I'm actually an old Asian woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what other questions do you get? Oh, this is a good one, this is a good one. Well, what question are you hoping I won't ask you? Spit or swallow? Because <laughs> that could be awful. <laughs> in five years, probably still in this interview. <laughs> My gosh. And you know what else sucks about job hunting? The personal references they get from you. So you call your friends and find out you know, secret shit. Because if you've got friends with a good sense of humor, oh, that goes right off the rails, trust me. They'll be like, and Neil McCarry. Is he there now? Get out. Get out. <laughs> hey, is he out of rehab already? <laughs> Third time is a charm, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Neil McGarry. You know, I haven't heard that name since the last Amber Alert. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what else brings us together? Ah, uh, text messaging. Well, it should. I, I'm lousy at text messaging. First of all, my cell phone is so old, it's got like a fucking rotary dial. <laughs> and I'm not good at typing with my thumb, so my texts all come out like, running late, be there soon, cue. Do you guys text message? Are you texting now? Because <laughs> I can't talk listening to this Count Chocula motherfucker. <laughs> you guys have been great. That's my time.